What's up YouTube? It's your boy Shane back with a brand new video. And as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna be talking about the girl that I was just with like two weeks ago. Um found out she cheated early on in the relationship actually. It's not like we were together for like a year or nothing like that. We were together for like two weeks. She posted a fucking picture of her and this other guy, and I was like, alright, bet. So I quit talking to her, uh, and then about a week after that, she had, okay, you know what, we're gonna backtrack real quick. One day, I was like, I'm gonna come see you, but I can't, I don't remember why, oh, I was busy that day, so I couldn't just like, Go and see her by the time that she was going to get off work. Because when she gets off work, she's got to go home. And, you know, whatever. Like, her parents come pick her up at a certain time from work. Because she don't have a car. So, I was like, okay, whatever. But, I had like two hours until I was supposed to be at the place that I was supposed to be at. And she worked ten minutes away from that place. So I was like, alright, I'm going to leave now. Still got like two hours. I think I'm more likely going to have to wait a long time anyways. So I'm going to just go sit here for an hour. Or an hour and a half. So, like I said, I told her I want to see you, but I'm not going to be able to because I have to take care of something. Um, and by the time that, by the time I'm done with doing what I got to do, you're already going to be gone. You know, your parents are going to have come pick you up by then. So I won't be able to see you today. So, like, okay, maybe another time. I was like, all right, maybe tomorrow. Or something like that. So, like I said, she was like 10 minutes away from the place I had to be at. I didn't have to be at the place for another two hours. But I left two hours early. Because I went to go surprise her at work. But she wasn't there. Okay, fine. See how it is. And she had been sketchy from the fucking get-go anyways. She, ha she works at this... Play. I'm not going to say for who or where, but she works at this place, and her boss isn't there. He's in a different state. So, I was like, okay, this isn't adding up. I thought maybe, okay, she went to the bathroom. So I texted her. I was like, what are you doing? I was like, where are you? I was like, I'm here at your work. And I was like, you're not here. What the fuck? She ignored me. I called her. She sent me right to fucking voicemail. It rang twice, so she that means she hit the ignore button. Called her again. Did the same shit. It's like, alright, fuck this bitch. So I was like, alright, I'm gonna go wherever I gotta go. So I went to the place, sat in the car for a little bit, got out about an hour uh, until I had to be there anyway. So I was like, alright, you know what, I'm gonna go in there early, whatever, because I was like, okay, it's gonna be busy. It wasn't very busy. But anyways, it's like, okay. So two hours after that happened, she posted online a picture of her and another fucking guy. So like, alright. So I messaged her. I was like, what the fuck? She was like, what? And I was like, so, I went to go to your work to surprise you, but you weren't there. She's like, yeah, I know. I was hanging out with my friend. No, bitch. You were with another fucking guy. Okay, if you want to go hang out with a female, fine. But me? Yeah, I'm a fucking jealous boyfriend. Like, if I'm with a female, and she does some dumb shit like that, I'm gonna get mad. And if you're gonna sit there and fucking text other guys like my other ex did, I'm gonna get fucking mad too. So... I was like, alright, you know what? I'm done. Fuck this shit, and fuck you. I'm done. So, get this, I've been trying to get with her for, well, even talk to her for like 9 months, 10 months, something like that. Finally, one day, she messaged me. I was like, alright, who wants to hang out? So she messaged me, she was like, hey, what are you doing? I was like, nothing, I'm just bored, and I was like, you want to hang out? So she's like, yeah, so we hung out, we ended up having sex that first day. Cool. Second day, went and seen her again. Same thing. And for like two or three weeks, hung out with her. 
almost every day. Like four, she only works a like four out of seven days a week. So I went and seen her for four days um, out of the week for like two or three weeks, and then uh, one weekend she was, or yeah, one week she was gone for vacation or whatever the fuck with her family. So like, okay, fine. But like I said, the title of this video. And she cheated on me because she cheated on me with a fucking another guy. So I was like, all right. So basically, what I'm gonna, what I'm getting at is, I'm done with relationships. Nowadays, you can't fucking trust nobody, especially with with cell phones being such a big thing in the world. Um. You can be with somebody, but they can be texting five other motherfuckers. It's like, alright, fine. So if you want to message other guys, that's okay. You can talk to them. But if I post something on online, I'm not going to say the app, but i was like, okay, you're allowed to post shit about who wants to hang out, blah, blah, blah. Because there's days that I couldn't go see her, and those were the days that she was posted. Hey, who wants to come save me from work? I'm bored at work. Come get me. I'm... I don't want to be at work. Somebody come hang out with me. <sighs> okay. So I give it about two weeks from the day that happened. Um, and then the next day after that happened, she was gone for that week. So I was like, alright, she's going to be gone with her family for a week. So then a week after that goes by. I message her. I was like, alright. I'm gonna give her another chance. Maybe he's just a friend. No. Just a couple days after we started hanging out again, she did the same shit. Went. Cheated. Again. I was like, this bitch is just weird. Like, she just sets off this weird vibe. And I feel like the only reason why she was with me was for sex. Because every time we hang out, that's all we do. We have sex. We talk. Act like... She acts like we're, like, okay. But it's like, it's not okay to fucking cheat on somebody and fuck with their feelings. Because it's like, yeah, I'm a fucking man. I shouldn't be a bitch about this. But it's still the fact that I'm human. I have feelings. You know? And they can get hurt. And just like that, just like a fucking woman. No, I'm not as sensitive as a woman. I'm not gonna sit there and fucking cry about it. But yeah, I'm gonna get pissed off. You're sitting there fucking around with another dude while you're supposed to be dating me. But I guess that's not the fucking case these days. Nobody knows how to be fucking loyal in a relationship. I'm like, alright, you know what? Fuck it. I'm done. So guess what? I'm done with relationships um, for who knows how long. It could be for the rest of my fucking life. Because like I said, nobody knows how to be loyal these days. Especially women. Because they always want to find a different guy to fuck. But it's like... If, like a guy... For me at least. Seems like... All the women I ever get with... Just want to fuck. But then they'll sit there and talk to other guys. But it's like, what the fuck are you... Like, if you don't want to be with me, tell me. Like, that's cool. And that's what I just told her today. I was like, if you don't want to be with me... You don't want to be with me. But of course, she fucking ignores all my messages all day. And that's the, that's the shit that she does when she's hanging out with other guys. The first time she was with that other guy, she ignored me all fucking day. Messages me every other day. Then that second time happened. She ignored me all fucking day. And then today, ignore me all fucking day. So I'm like, alright, if you don't want to be with me, just tell me. That's cool. We can be friends, whatever. But this bitch, I don't even want to be friends with her. I don't even want to fucking talk. I don't even want to, like, see her profile. So that app that we were talking on, that I met her on, I deleted it. I was like, no, I don't want to. I'm not going to fucking block her because that shit is dumb. I still got a number on my phone. So if she wants to hit me up, she can still text me. But right now, I'm done with her. And I'm done trying to be in a relationship. Um, and that app is just full of a bunch of fucking hoes that just want to fuck and then bounce. But it's like, I'm looking for a relationship. I'm not looking for just somebody to fuck. If I wanted somebody to fuck, 
I can I can get that no problem. But it's the like I said, it's just like I'm looking for a relationship. I'm not looking for just fuck buddies. If I wanted a fuck buddy, I can get somebody I can just fuck and tell on the balance. But no, I'm looking for a relationship. Nobody wants a serious relationship nowadays. Um, especially the fucking woman around this area. This is like the fourth fucking bitch that I've talked to that... Okay, I'm not saying bitch and like all women are. But most of the ones that I've been with... And what I mean by bitch is not in like a... Okay, actually it is. I'm not saying every woman is a bitch. Yes, there's some good ones, and yeah, there's definitely some fucking bad ones. Um, and there's just, this one just so happens to be a bad one. And, yeah, some women are straight up bitches, and other women are fine, but it's like, you know, you can only try so much, um, to make somebody happy. Which I thought I was doing was making her happy, but I guess I wasn't making her happy enough to want to stay with me. And when we were together, she was fucking posting inappropriate ass pictures that I didn't feel comfortable with her posting on this certain app because there was other guys commenting inappropriate shit or just messaging her or commenting stuff that like can lead to other things. Um, besides just being friends online, you can meet up, you can have sex with the, like, so that's why I don't fucking trust a woman in a relationship these days, because like I said, this is my second time just in 2018 that I've been cheated on. One was in the beginning of the year, which is in January, and now in April, so I'm done with relationships for a while, not forever. Maybe there will be somebody that, you know, has my trust. But as of right now, I don't trust no females. I'm not going with no fucking dude because I don't fuck with the gay shit. Like, I just don't. I don't like gay people. I fucking hate gay guys. Women. Like, it's just fucking dumb. Like, what? There's... I don't... Never... I'm not even going to get into that shit. I'm just saying, I don't like gay people, so I'm not going to go for a guy. I'm not gay, so... Like, that's just that. So, like I said, I'm done with relationships for a while. Not for a week, not for a month, but it's just going to be a while. Um, so, yeah. Peace out.